Being a partly cloudy day with no rainfall recorded in southeast Queensland, temperatures were near average too for this time of the year. Brisbane 16 to 27, 32 for Ipswich and 29 and 31 on the coasts. At the moment the barometer is on 1,009 and steady. Humidity 74% of the temperature is 22 degrees. Now as of November the 1st we're officially in the cyclone season which will run until April next year. Now some interesting cyclone facts. We average 4 to 5 per season. The average number crossing the coast is 2. And the average number of uh, severe cyclones is one per season. Let's hope we, uh, we keep to those averages uh, for this season. Looking at this cloud now across the continent, you'll see that cloud moving away from particularly Victoria. That's the rain that uh, was there over the last couple of days and really a very dry atmosphere through most of Australia. Not a lot of rain happening there at the moment. Uh, the chart shows this uh, weak trough near Brisbane. Uh, tomorrow it's a similar sort of story. That trough will stagnate. The high will begin to progress through. That'll dominate the next four days. So we're in for uh, four days of uh, basically fine weather. Now the uh, capital city forecast for tomorrow. Early shower Showers for Adelaide, showers and cold in Hobart, 7 to 14, and some showers for Melbourne as well. Northern centres of Queensland, most of the state is uh, being controlled by dry atmosphere, so tomorrow a fine day ahead, 37 degrees for Mount Isa, and for central Queensland, fine as well, with 32 degrees for Rockhampton. For south east Queensland, fine with moderate to fresh north to north east winds in the afternoon on the coasts, 29 degrees for Noosa tomorrow. For the bay, 10 to 15 knot northwest winds, then north to northeast at 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon, and the sea's 1.4 metres. Brisbane will be fine, temperature range 16 to 27, and the four-day outlook Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday all will be fine. Now tonight, from a thousand and one things to do with old pantyhose, three ideas. Firstly, they're great for tying plants to stakes. They also make excellent padding for coat hangers. Uh, to prevent indentations being made on very expensive clothing and this was sent in to me from a viewer and it's a beauty. If you place the pantyhose over the skimmer box basket in the pool it acts as a second filter and gives the water an added boost. So give those a try and of course good to be back in the pool at this time of the year. Isn't oh, it? It's wonderful because it's great swimming weather because summer is almost here. And the Cancer Council has a new weapon in its fight against melanoma. It's gone on the offensive with cricketer Merv Hughes. He'll feature in a new television commercial, together with 80 school children, all sporting his famous facial hair. Slap on the hat and wrap on some flannies. <laughs> <laughs> Getting it just right for the director proved a hard task for the clown prince of Australian cricket. Slip on a shirt, slap on some flannies. <laughs> Slap on a hat and wrap on some sunnies. Right, kids? Yeah! I don't even want that. The Merv's performance running up the stairs shows he's definitely recovering from that knee injury. What an ambassador. Well, that's the news to this moment. Join us again tomorrow night at 6. Till then, good night. <laughs>